Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel InfoBro. So in this video, we will be talking about the ash of body. So it is explained simply in this video and with some mnemonic, you can memorize the formation of the ash of body very easily. So let's start the topic. So it is a spheroidal or fusiform characteristic lesion seen in the rheumatic disease. So the, it is a spheroidal or fusiform characteristic lesion seen in the rheumatic disease the size is about 1 to 2 millimeter the size is about 1 to 2 millimeter the site of ash of body is during the acute rheumatic fever it may be found in any of the three layers in the perivascular interstitial region of the heart so it may be found in any of the three layers in the perivascular interstitial region of the heart so that's for the introduction of the ash of body. Now for the formation of the ash of body. The formation, it consists of three phases. Exudative phase, granulomatous phase and healed phase. So the exudative phase, granulomatous phase and healed phase. In early or exudative phase, the exudative phase is also known as early phase. The perivascular focus of the swollen eosinophilic collagen is surrounded by the lymphocyte, plasma cell and macrophage. So it consists of a perivascular focus of swollen eosinophilic collagen surrounded by lymphocyte, plasma cell and macrophage. And that const consists of the exudative or early phase. Now for the intermediate or granulomatous phase, it is a pathognomonic of the rheumatic myocarditis so it is a granulomatous lesion with central fibrinoid focus associated with lymphocyte macrophage and it and its cough sorry and it cough cell and occasional plasma cells so it is a granulomatous lesion with central fi fibrinoid focus associated with lymphocyte macrophage and its and it cough and its cough cell and occasional plasma cells now for the and its cough cells so and its cough cells are the plump activated macrophage which have a abundant cytoplasm on the cross section this nuclei have a owl shaped appearance which can be seen in this diagram and few cell become multinucleated in which cases they are termed as ash of giant cells so the anichko cells are plumb activated macrophages which have an abundant cytoplasm on cross section these nuclei have a owl shaped appearance and few cells become multinucleated in which case they are termed as termed as ashtof giant cells now for the third or late healed or final phase it is the third phase that is the late healed or final phase the ashtof body is replaced by a nodule of scar tissue the ashtof body is replaced by a nodule of the scar tissue and that's for the formation of the ashtof body so to memorize this i got a mnemonic for you that is everyone go home the letter in e green it shows gives the mnemonic e g h everyone go home e g h the e for exudative phase g for granulomatous phase and h for healed phase and that's for the mnemonic and thanks for watching if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe my channel for future videos thank you